Peter, did you brush your teeth? Nah. Peter, brush your teeth. I don't want to. Peter, brush your teeth. No, it's stupid. Well, I guess we're going to have to do this the hard way. No! Open your mouth. No! Peter, open no, your mouth. Show me, no. Show me your teeth! <laughs> Peter, did you hear that? Oh, look, Meg. It's your little baby booties. Oh, and your little bronze hat. And your tail. My what? Nothing. Okay, Lois's list says clean the windows, clear the gutters, and wash the siding. To most folks, that's three chores. To Peter Griffin and his big hose, it's one. Hmm, you're not working hard, Peter. You're working smart. Hey, Chris, give me the juice. Mom, how come all your students suck? Uh, I don't know, honey. All I want is one pupil who's good enough to win the piano competition. I'm sick of coming in second to that awful Alexis Radcliffe. Every year she wins and rubs it in my face. Don't worry, sweetheart. There's always next year. Congratulations on second place, Lois. Oh, my God, that was so much fun. You know, boys, we just might make this our regular spot. Peter! Peter! Yeah, I'm sorry, Joe. I uh, just had one of my Scrubs fantasy moments. It's the best show you're not watching. I hate shows that cut away from the story for some bullshit. Hey, check this out, you guys. The Rhode Island Dog Show Championship is in Quahog this year. First prize is 500 bucks. Really? You know, if you won, we could use that money for a new air conditioner. Hey, Brian, you could win for sure. You could, uh, you could do your impression of a barbershop quartet. That's why I built you a widow's walk, Lois, so you can watch the sea until I return. Go on, try it out. Peter, that doesn't look entirely... Go on! Peter, I'm really not comfortable stepping foot on this... Lois, I gotta leave in, like, five minutes. Is this scotch tape? <laughs> oh, you drunk. The winner of our final contest will receive a very special prize, a week's paid vacation. Did you hear that? Oh, God, pl please let it be farting. Please let it be a fart contest. These are tranquilizer darts. I have enough here to take down Robert Downey Jr. Oh, <laughs> Robert Downey. Yeah. All right, who's ready for a campfire song, huh? Oh, come on, Dad, that's lame. It's not lame, Meg. Look, those people over there are having a good time. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. When she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. When she comes. Well, I guess that's our answer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, how about I take it and then send it to you after I read it? Swear to God? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I know, I'm just messing. Well, uh, listen, uh, here, here's my address. Thanks. See you later. Play bingo in years. Silence! Ever since you two met, you've done nothing but wax idiotic. I must escape this infernal battle. Ah! <laughs> what a little explorer. Yes, he's so full of wonder. Oh, to be the Lindbergh baby right about now. Ah, uh, Lois, Lo can, can you go down to the basement and do something really loud and complicated for the next 15 minutes? <laughs> That's a fine machine, Peter. Peter, how can we afford this? Let's just say the car was a steal. Say that again. The car was a steal. This time without winking. The car was a steal. You don't you know about the bird? And everybody knows that the, the bird is a word. Don't you understand? I don't want a committed relationship with Jillian. Well, it sounds like she does. And if you're never going to get serious, then you're not being fair to her. I mean, what are you, Brian? One of those creepy guys who just uses a woman for sex? Because Jillian deserves better. She has feelings. He... he did it to you, too? I have something to say. Dr. Hartman violated me as well. I only went in there for a physical slash guinea pig removal, but I turned out to be the guinea pig for his sexual experimentation. You guys are a bunch of queers. <laughs> and so am I. Oh, God, it was horrible. I scrubbed and I scrubbed, but damn it, they don't make water hot enough. Okay, I'll be there.
Peter and Lois were supposed to chaperone Chris's school dance tomorrow night, so I guess it's up to me. You mean it's up to us? Clearly you need my help with this parenting thing. You're too stupid to do it alone. Besides, I know how to deal with children, unlike Mr. Geppetto. Hey, where the hell is Lois? That's weird. Looks like she's coming out of Quagmire's house. Lois, what the hell? I'm gone for one night and you sleep with Quagmire? Mr. Griffin, what I do with my husband is none of your business. Husband? Morning, Pete. Hope you and Molly can still join us for dinner tonight. Come here, baby. Let's head upstairs and play hide-and-go anal. <laughs> but the idea of two men actually getting married, it just doesn't seem right. Hey, I say who cares, you know? If gays want to get married and be miserable like the rest of us, I say we should let them. Oh, no! What's wrong? Look. Some breaking news today when Mayor West announced he will sign a citywide ban on gay marriages next week. While controversial, it has nonetheless effectively distracted all of us from the Diggum fiasco. The what? I don't know, something about a lizard. Oh, no, I forgot the detergent. I excuse me, would you watch him for a moment? Sure thing, ma'am. Whoa there, little guy. You gotta pay for that. Go suck a railroad spike. I haven't got any money. Well, then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take it away from you. Ah, 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 oh, God! Please! Help me! Ah. Oh, you don't want to go back to that record store. You gotta get back out there. Coloring eggs and hiding them for kids. What? You mean... reveal myself? Absolutely! This world needs you, Jesus! It needs you like a guy who can't get it up needs a distraction. I am so ready to have sex with you. Oh, hey, is that my phone? I don't hear anything. Is that John Aston? I don't see anyone out there. Oh. Well, now there's so much going on. Don't worry about it, Chris. She'll be fine. Hey, by the way, you know who else is hot in kind of a screwed up way? Mary Stuart Masterson. Yeah, yeah, and that's sort of you think you could get her because she could be your brother kind of thing. Like she's gettable, you know? Like, like uh, Elizabeth Shue. Oh, I remember her. Yeah. You know, she was in Leaving Las Vegas in addition to Adventures in Babysitting. Griffin, there's no easy way to say this. I think you have a drug problem. A drug problem? What's this really about? Jealousy? Am I stealing your thunder, Joe? Is that it? Give me your badge. Fine. By the way, Horowitz, you should show Joe your impression of him. Oh, well, no, I, he's not as good as, you know, my Irish cop. It's just the little thing I... Look at me, I'm Joe! My legs don't work, but I make up for it by having a very strong upper body. <laughs> well, I do say that. Would you mind getting Loretta to sleep with you again? Uh, I... Possibly. I mean, in, in what context? Well, we're trying to make Cleveland see that she's no good and that he can't trust her, and if he catches you guys in the act, then... Oh, okay. All right. No, no. Okay. No, I'm, I'm with you now. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. You know, I could probably work that in. Terrific. Thank you. This is perfect, Lois. We'll expose Loretta for who she is. Peter, I wish you'd go over there and patch things up with Joe. Hey, screw him, Lois. He doesn't need us anymore now that he's got his cool new friends. I tell you, those legs have turned him into a complete jerk. It's like giving a monkey the keys to an amusement park. How is that? How is what? How is it anything like a monkey having the keys to an amusement park? I don't know. The hours would be erratic. Maintenance would probably suffer to some degree. But who is that? Travesty right now. So, bar mitzvahs are travesties, huh? No, my son getting bar mitzvahed is a travesty. He's doing it for all the wrong reasons. Good morning, Cohog. You're here with Dingo. <laughs> and the baby. <laughs> and if you're thinking about changing the station. Ouch! You! Today we got homeless Hank from the dumpster out back with us. Hey, I got an idea. How about the first three women willing to come down and have sex with Hank get free boob jobs courtesy of Dr. John Viner? Are you reading my mind, man? Let's go to the phones. 